To make this message on a bottle, I'm using wash away stabiliser, my 5x7 hoop, fleece batting, thin cotton which I've got doubled over, masking tape or painter's tape, I've got my threads with a matching bobbin, scissors and I'm going to be using a stitch on picker um, because I need a sharp implement that's going to lift the fabric and the batting um, without damaging the um, stabiliser underneath. I'm going to start off by hooping my stabiliser. And I'm going to put that in my machine and stitch round number one, which is the outline which gives me my batting placement. Next, you're going to place your batting down over the outline here and tape it in place. And now pop it in your machine and stitch round number two, which is going to um, attach the um, batting. And it will also give you your placement for your fabric. Now I'm going to remove all the excess batting from around the edge and also from the centre of the circle here. I'm now going to place my first fabric over the heart area and I'm going to tape it down so that it doesn't move. I'm going to pop that back into my machine and stitch round number three to secure it. I'm going to change my thread to white and stitch round number four which is going to do the quilting in the heart area. So that's the quilting done, I don't know if you can see here but it's like a little um, heart monitor with a heart all the way over it. I'm going to trim up around here so that when I come to put the next fabric on in a minute um, it's not going to get in the way and, and make it bulky around here. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to turn my hoop over and I'm going to place my backing fabric at the top here. I'm not worried about the heart at the bottom because that's going to be done later after um, the text has been um, embroidered. I'm going to take that in place, turn it over to the front and place the front fabric over the same area. I now pop that back into my machine and stitch round number five to secure it. Now they're secured, I need to remove the centre of the, the fabric from the centre, both from the front and from the back. So I'm going to use my stitch on picker here just to lift the fabric so that I don't damage the um, actual stabiliser underneath. And I'm just going to rip that a little bit along that so I can get my scissors in. And bearing in mind that I'm using double layers of fabric because it's so thin, I need to do the same with the second piece underneath.
I'm going to put that back in my machine and stitch around number six, which is the zigzagging that goes around the inner circle there. Next is round number seven, and that's the decorative stitching around the inner part of the circle. Next is round number eight, and that's going to do the uh, zigzagging all the way around the edge here. And round number nine is going to do the decorative satin stitch around the edge on top of the zigzagging. Next is round number 10 and that's going to do the wording in the middle. I'm going to turn my hoop over and I'm going to add my backing fabric to the heart now. And I've actually changed the uh, bobbin to the matching bobbin on my machine as well because as you can see here I forgot to do it. Don't forget it. And I'm going to take that in place. I'm now going to pop that in my machine and stitch round number 11 which will secure the backing fabric to the hoop. So now I'm going to trim off all the excess fabric and I'm going to do that from both the front and the back. I'm going to show you a little quick tip here. You can see that that's miraculously turned red now. It's because I've used a permanent marker and just coloured it in. Now, had this been a new marker, you probably wouldn't have been able to tell the difference, but unfortunately this one's well worn and um, not much ink left in it now, so it's not as crisp as it would have been had my marker been a lot newer. Okay, onwards and upwards. Next, I'm going to pop my hoop back into my machine and stitch round number 12, which is going to do the zigzag stitching around the heart. So that's the zigzagging done. I'm going to pop this back into my machine and stitch round number 13, which is going to do the satin stitch uh, decorative edge all around the heart. Next I'm going to free it from the hoop, so I'm going to turn it over and do it from the back. Now all that remains is to get rid of all the wash away stabiliser that's showing on the edge. So I'm going to use a cotton bud dipped in some warm water for that. And there it is, my message on a bottle tag. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new ones as they're published. And thanks very much for joining me.